Welcome back. Glad you're there. The show where warm water washers and cold water washers come together in a bipartisan spirit right here on the program. Uh, yeah, California had a uh, Republican Party convention in the state of California. And it was pretty, um, pretty interesting. Um, they had a uh, straw poll at the uh, fall convention in Los Angeles over this last weekend for the Republican Party in California. We had a straw poll of the delegates, you know, choice as of now for president. Here are the results. Ron Paul, 45% of the vote. Rick Perry, 29% of the vote. Mitt Romney, 9% of the vote. Bachman, 8% of the vote. Ron Paul is doing some pretty interesting stuff. He raised $1 million this weekend with 18,000 donors in one weekend. And you know that last week he was endorsed by um, Barry Manilow. I mean, wait till we get to the convention. You can just imagine what's going to happen when Ron Paul Paul takes the stage. He's also been endorsed by uh, Vince Vaughn. The actor was he in uh, Wedding uh, Wedding uh, Crasher and what was it? Some of the other ones. Anyway, he's been in a, a lot of comedies. Vince Vaughn. Um, maybe he'll say uh, about uh, Ron Paul, "So money, baby." Oh, we'll see. Anyway, uh, Vince Vaughn. So Ron Paul, he's getting out there, campaigning. He's in uh, Iowa uh, tomorrow with three cam- campaign stops, and then gets down to Florida for the uh, Fox News debate. On Thursday, and then on Friday goes before the um, Florida CPAC Con- Conservative Political Action Conference ahead of the Florida straw poll. And by the way, Rick Scott yesterday uh, over the weekend, sometimes said that that straw poll in Florida, according to him, whoever wins that one will be the next president of the United States. Okay, so we shall see. You know, Ron Paul won the chat. Um, I'm sorry, won the uh, straw poll at the California. Republican convention. Uh, Mario in San Diego was there. Mario, welcome to the program. Hey, thanks for having me, Roger. How you doing? Good. Did you uh, vote for Ron Paul and why? Uh, I sure did vote for Ron Paul and uh, for a multitude of reasons. Uh, the biggest one is, you know, his uh, philosophy of having a, a limited government and placing a lot more personal responsibility onto the American people and uh, making us feel good about having that opportunity. <laughs> You know, he has a message of virtue, and I think that that's really, really powerful, and it, it empowers people to do the right thing. Um, the overall feeling of the straw poll, I mean, there was a lot of people there. I'm looking at the, some of the media coverage, and they are not giving it the uh, right amount of coverage because, there, I mean, there was hundreds, thousands of people there filling up the Marriott, and, you know, you could feel the vibration and just the the energy inside of this mass group of people as they were going around chanting, talking to people, and um, and it was a beautiful thing. So you th- you caught a spirit there of what I mean uh, the, in terms of this upcoming election next year. What do you think this uh, this means? Well, I I think that it means that Obama and the uh, his party had better get to doing a lot of work and to starting to address the. Uh, what's on the, the minds of the people, the American people, and addressing them directly. Uh, I think that's what's made Ron such a powerful uh, leader in this movement, is that he, ta- he talks directly to the people, you know, and he, he tries to convey the message of personal responsibility to them. So while these other folks say, you know, just give it up to us, we'll do the right thing, don't worry about it, go to work, he says, be worried about it. And, and be vigilant about it and make sure that you're not being, um, you know, intellectually apathetic. And I think that that, that was really the, the main uh, charge behind everybody there at the convention was that it was a breaking down of that apathy and, and moving more in towards intellectual activism. Interesting. All right. Now, Mario, because I've had some questions in the chat room here about straw poll, how was it conducted? How, did, how do we know that Ron Paul got 40... 40- I'm assuming it's 45 percent of the people present at this convention, and and sort of a did they raise hands or did they have a secret ballot or how did they do it? No, you had to uh, register to as a guest 
uh, and during the registration you had to show you know your identification at which point they gave you a badge and um, then you had to go into the next area where they had uh, some folks standing there with a ballot and um, you know they they again checked your ID to make sure that you were who were you were on the badge you filled it out and then you uh, just you had to put your finger on this little stamp thing. It was like a fingerprint thing, and then, uh, and then there it was. Okay, and so you uh, registered. Well, well after yeah. the end, because uh, Ron Paul gave a speech to – he gave a couple speeches that day, but he gave a free one to people who were not able to pay for all the other things. And, um, and he, they were even saying that a lot of the people who were registered as guests weren't even allowed to vote in the straw poll. And they were trying to even get all those people a, a chance to. So it, it's allowed to, uh, to happen. It may even have been more of a landslide than we had seen. All right. So it wasn't just the people who were there for the, uh, the convention as delegates, but it was guests who came in who could also vote. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All That's right. beautiful. Mario, thanks for the call. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate the explanation as well.